Oh. In yesterday's video, we finally, after all this time, drove the battle van for the first time. And guess what? It blew a coolant line and just spewed its coolant all over the place. If you guys watched that video, you would know that by the end of that video, I was just so salty and so done. I was this close to giving up on this thing and just selling it. I did a poll on Twitter and the majority of you guys actually said we should destroy it. I, I was debating between three options, selling it, fixing it, and destroying it. All of you guys said you wanted to see it destroyed. We're not doing that. We're gonna get the brakes working. We're gonna bleed them. We're gonna get the lines fixed. I don't think I'm gonna bother replacing the calipers or the rotors or the pads. That's it, that's all we're gonna fix. And then we're just gonna have fun fabricating stuff. We're gonna start off today actually by having fun fabricating stuff. We're gonna lift it more. We already installed the two inch lift kit, but the way the van sits now, it's kind of got a weird rake and I don't like that. Plus, if we lift the front more, we can turn a little bit more. We don't have to cut as much. So we're gonna lift the front more using this. <laughs> Just some angle iron. We're pretty much going to turn this into a, a box tube and then weld it in between a couple of the coils in the spring. I also just want to thank Ben Pack because if I wouldn't have a lift to do all this shit on this van, I would have given up long ago. So essentially what we're gonna do we're gonna weld this angle iron into a box because they didn't have any box steel that ace, you know, whatever. And then we're going to cut it and notch it and put it in between two of the coils of the spring. Then we're gonna tack it to the spring so it doesn't move around. And then when the car is lowered onto the ground, those two coils won't move at all and thus it will be essentially a stiffer spring and it'll sit higher. It's gonna have less travel, but you know, who really cares? Ground clearance is more important than travel when you have a shitty vehicle. The top of one coil to the bottom of the next coil is a little bit over three inches. So, we're gonna go ahead and mark three and a quarter inches and six and a half. Perfect size. There's a little bit of overlap on both the top and the bottom. Weld these two, they're really warm, together to form a box. What? I hate these lights. They're so top heavy. Starting off with some nice tacks um, because I want to test it, make sure it fits and works before I, you know, weld the entire thing up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is notch the bottom and the top so I can kind of slip it in there. Right about there. Right about there. idea. Obviously I cut a little bit too much so I'm gonna go ahead and put a plate in there, weld it together. Now before I start welding these things in there, I want to do a baseline test. I want to see what the right height is right now. Up front right now we have four inches.
Well, that certainly isn't going anywhere. Once it cools down, we'll go ahead and paint it up so it doesn't rust, and then move on to the next side. Before we waste time on the other side, just in case this doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and test this side. Still really soft suspension. Oh, six inches. We raised it another two inches. That is a success, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other side. Just finished installing the lift on the other side. You can't really see, oh hey, there we go. This one turned out much better. And we're definitely, we're sitting much higher. Where is my tape measure? Gotcha. Now that both sides are lifted, it's sitting in, ah, it's exactly six inches. The back is also six inches, so. It is now level all around. That, that makes me much happier. That looks a lot better. <sighs> Still have some mad positive camber, but yeah. I went ahead and painted the lower section where the bumper covered up to match the, uh, the side. <sighs> Did the same with the front. Painted that area. So it looks nice. It, re it really does look cool. I just, I wish it would drive. I mean, oh, it does look so sick. I'm very torn with this thing. Part of me wants to keep it, part of me wants to sell it. If I sold it as is, I could get 1,500 bucks for it. And if we put all that in the rail and Miata, that would be nice. That would be really nice. But that's not what this video is about, so there we go. That is the easiest and sketchiest way to lift a car. We got an extra two inches of ground clearance for $9. That's how much that steel costs. Everything is solid, everything is sturdy. It's sitting in there well. All you need is some square tubing, an angle grinder, a welder, and you, there, there you go. You can lift any car with a coil spring. Battle van, oh battle van, what will I do with you? But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, please give it a dislike. Um, I know a lot of people aren't gonna enjoy this. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I totally appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out. See you later.